So you can see that I've added a lot, and can you see that we've tweaked a lot of what we've been doing? So it's a lot different than how we've been playing. Um, I said it before to you, I haven't run a pick and roll, because when I had Derek, I didn't want to bring another defender to him. I needed him ice so we could score. When I had Tyreek and his size, they could not guard him. Why let him be guarded by a big guy? John Wall, if we put him in pick and rolls, what would they have done? How would they have played that? They'd have gone under. Now what do I have John Wall shoot jump shots? No, I want John Wall to put his head on him. So, Brandon Knight wasn't as physical, but I'll tell you what he could do. On handoffs, he was a bear. So that's why we started doing handoffs, because he could get behind there and catch the shoot. Well, I'm looking at this team and I'm saying, this is a pick and roll team if I've ever had it. And so now I'm trying to learn about pick and roll. I'm here teaching you, and I've been on the phone with my friends in the NBA for the last week, trying to pick up tips of how they're doing it, watching New York Nick tapes, watching Phoenix Sun tapes, trying to figure out how do we do this. Now what I like about it is it plays regular right dribble drive, doesn't it? So if we don't have anything, instead of this guy relocating because we're spacing the court, which is how we space the dribble drive, Instead of this guy relocating, now he's screaming. So everybody else is high. Now watch, when he rolls, he's back in, and now when we make a pass, we're back into that attacking offense. Now, we're also, as you see, running everybody wide. Well, I remember Utah did it back in the 90s, early 90s. And now I pick up the tape and I look, and I didn't know this, but New York's playing it. New York runs everybody wide. So, you know, we did it by chance. I just looked out and I said, Anthony Davis is too good to run that play. Would you say? Do we take away half of what he does out on the floor by just running to the rim? I think we do. So we're trying to say, here's our team, here's how we have to play. And I hate to tell you, every year I'm going to have a new team. Now, how many of you here say, you can't recruit the way you should recruit the best players to win a national title? You can't because they're all going to leave. Next year, now we went to the final four next year. You can do it if you get good kids who are driven and understand what they're getting into. So now you look at this team, our veterans, how much better is Terrence Jones? Now you say to me, why is he better? Did you see him run the condition, the, uh, the, he was first? I promise you. Last year, he was last. Not only, well, he needed one right there. <laughs> <laughs> he was the last guy in this gym that would walk through that door. He was the last, tied with Daron. Now, he's the first one. He finishes first. He's added some right so he can't just play on his left hand. He's shooting the ball better. He's in physical condition. His mentality is different, Josh Harrelson. And you see a different player. Now, I have some other guys on the team who said, I just need a chance. All I have here is that one time. Now, you hear what I'm saying, chance? Don't play a lottery. There's your chance. There are no chances here. So I went to Darius. Will you give up 10 minutes so so and so can get a chance? You know what Darius said? Uh uh. I didn't get any of my minutes. I said, Terrence, will you give up 15 minutes of your time so so-and-so can get some minutes? <coughs> no. You either take the minutes or you don't play. There's no chances here. Everybody's competing.